I'm leaving my apartment in Venice Beach, Los Angeles, California after living here for about 12 years. Why am I leaving? Well, since the pandemic, Venice Beach just hasn't been the same. That's one reason. Second reason, I feel called to another chapter in my life. And the third reason is one of my roommates, uh, who I love dearly, wants to take things to the next level with his girlfriend, move her in, and see if it might lead to marriage. It's just kind of a perfect storm of circumstances and sometimes in life you feel the wind change in your sails and the correct thing to do is to adjust them and change your tact. And so that's what I'm doing. Nonetheless, it is a weird feeling leaving your home after 12 years with no new home lined up. Wow, how many dishes have I washed in this sink? How many conversations have I had through the window with the neighbors? How many beautiful erotic nights did I share? How many good times on this roof? Mornings of meditation. But I'll tell you the greatest thing I've learned from this space is community. I come from a family that was very uh, insular, uh, a very insular suburban upbringing where it's like the husband and wife, the two kids. When you have friends over, you make a, a formal arrangement, like we're gonna have dinner with the Miller family next Saturday in the dining room. And then later in life, I, when I moved out, I lived with some roommates that I didn't know that well. We kind of did our own thing. I lived by myself. But this house in Venice had a very unique open door policy. And because it was by the beach, it was a hub for the entire friend group. Everybody wanted to come here. It's like the door is always open. If you're a homie, drop by anytime. There's beers in the fridge. You can hang. We got a roof deck. There was a constant flow of friends coming through. The, the roommates that have come and gone since I've been here, a lot of them have become great friends of mine. That's been the greatest gift this place has given me. And the idea of community that now we don't have to all like live alone in our own units. We don't have to have families where it's just the wife and the kids and you're just like this self-contained unit. We can make it broader. We can make it wider. We can have tribe. I've been much happier here at the center of the friend group, at the hub where everybody meets. I've been much happier than the times that I've lived alone and met my friends out at a cafe or out at an event. And now as I go out this year to film, it's one of the subjects that I'm gonna focus on. What is the ideal way to build community around yourself or to integrate yourself into an already existing community. Okay, thanks for listening to my little spiel. I wanted to share what was happening in my life. It's a strange transitional moment for me. I'm sure you've had some strange transitional moments this year as well. Yeah, you gotta trust that it's all moving towards the place that you exactly need to be. In every moment, you're exactly where you are supposed to be. And I trust that. And I trust that the best is yet to come in my life and in yours. All right, I'm Jonathan Legg. I'll see you on the next one.